All right, guys, we're back again. Another read with Eric here today. Um, we've got another book um, that the NC Humanities uh, recommended. Uh, if you don't know, we partnered up with NC Humanities. Uh, they're a great organization here, obviously, right in North Carolina. And um, they're all about promoting reading, uh, which fit in really well for what we do here. So they recommended this book, No Nobody Like a Book, uh, and it's by North Carolina author Alan Wolf. Um, so I'm excited to get into this book and you know, just it, it fits so well. I mean, nobody like a book, right? And, and it kind of stresses the importance of reading and especially as a kid, I was growing up, um, I was into reading quite a bit and um, even before I could read, my parents were reading to me pretty much every night. So I was always around reading. It was a big part of my life. It's still a big part of my life uh, today. So just you know the importance of it, it, it it's it can't be undermined so uh, always love anytime we get a chance to try to spread uh, a little bit of reading love but we're heading we'll give a few more minutes for everybody to join in uh we're heading to atlanta this weekend which is going to be a pretty unique race um obviously the track has been totally reconfigured from what we last raced on it or what it was even before when it was repaved last time so it's going to be pretty unique i think it's going to race a lot like a super speedway uh, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out and what the package is going to race like there. Um, it's narrow, it's fast, tie bank, so uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm excited to go out there and try it out. There's only been a couple of guys that got to go test there and have been on it, so um, we'll see how it plays out when we get out there, but I'm looking forward to it either way. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into this Nobody Like a Book by Alan Wolf. Like I said, he's North, he is a North Carolina author. We learn important stuff from books. We learn to speak and think. We learn why icebergs stay afloat and why titanics sink. We learn to play a harmonica. We learn to bake and cook. We learn to read and write. There's nobody like a book. Look at all that reading going on out there and learning. But books are only smears of ink without the reader's mind to get the letters meaning and to read between the lines. So step aboard the book express, it's waiting at the station, but can you guess the address of your final destination? That's a big train, the book express is. The greatest nation in the world, your own imagination. I've learned to name the planets and to track a distant star. I've learned to bottle moonlight and to calculate how far. A solid rocket booster sends a shuttle into space. I learned to build a telescope to see space face to face. Oh, the plant, well not all the plants, there are a few plants up there. Well, that is all the plants, never mind. <laughs> this homemade pinhole viewer even lets me see the sun. There's nobody like a there is no buddy like a book to show you how it's done. My launch pad is a science book. My mind's a constellation. The only rocket fuel I need is my own imagination. Oh, those, that's a lot of imagination, imagined stars. I've climbed the heights of Everest, one hand behind my back. I've seen the sights of India from high atop a yak. I've antelope in Africa and kissed a crocodile as I was sailing all alone along the river, the river Nile. I'm quite the global traveler. I've been to every land. China, Ingla, Ru England, Russia, Rome, New Guinea, New Guinea, and Sudan. New Zealand and Australia, Yugoslavia and Perth, Canada and Kathmandu, Dallas and Fort Worth. It's a lot of places. It's more places than I've been. But although these wondrous places hold a certain fascination, the greatest nation in the world is my own imagination. I visit any world I wish and never leave my chair. There is no buddy like a book to make me feel I'm there. Just riding on an elephant. So step aboard the Book Express, it's leaving from the station. 
The only ticket needed is your own imagination. Whatever are you waiting for, the adventure starts today. Just grab a book from off the shelf and you're on your way. They're all on the on the book express, all of them imaginations, but pretty cool book. Um, pretty true though, right? I mean, uh, that's the cool part about reading, how much you can learn, the places you can travel and see and use your imagination to be there. Um, it's true and that's why I love reading my whole life. I've always been interested in it. I love to learn and keeps you sharp, keeps you on top of things, gives you great conversation. Um, so a lot of things that are so valuable come from reading. So just want to thank you guys for joining in again um, to read with Eric and read along with me. And hope you guys come back the next time. Make sure to hashtag below read with Eric <coughs> and send in your book suggestions. Uh, anything you guys got, we love to go through and try to get them on there and try to get them read. But uh, hope to see you guys next time and make sure you tune into Atlanta this weekend and uh, catch the 43 card.